yourself over. Kind, kind. I'm going back to what we were saying, man. Is dealing with judgment and dealing with these situations, man. Situations happen where even uh, brothers, and even in yeah, uh, in the daily life, on the whole yeah. certain things, you just gotta deal with with proper judgment. We read about in Proverbs one one. Uh, Solomon dealt with judgment, equity, sub subtility, and, and not simplicity. Because when you when you deal with simplicity, you know you you essentially deal like a woman, man. And one thing about a woman, women gossip, they tell bear, they bring out the, the, the latest latest info on what they heard. Like, mm -hmm. like when you watch Bone Dogs, that one chick always on the phone, blowing up a jack, giving all the, the worst advice. What happened? The chick, if I'm not mistaken, at the end of the episode, she killed her damn self, man. Yeah, I was uh, paying for Martin. Yeah, yeah. Pam. Woman they they girl. upbraid. Woman on the phone. Yeah, girl. Yeah, I like that. Uh, that nigga woman. Uh, that bitch from uh, In Living Color. That's always oh, in the one. But you ain't heard of me. Yeah, but yeah. you ain't hear from me. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You can't be one of them, but you ain't hear from me, bro. Right, man. right. Yeah. You, you hear situations. If, if, if something happened with but you and you and the brother, some situations they say let it let it alone. You deal with that man. Yeah. And if he, if he heard you, you gained your brother. Yep. Simple as that. Yeah, because I was shocked he did that about Jesus Christ. Yeah. yeah. He right. said, well, you know, the great power. Yeah. <laughs> but, but he didn't put him on the spot when they was preaching and then say, Judas, you you gonna betray me, nigga. <laughs> F you Judas. I know you're gonna betray me during the time of the Passover. Oh, oh, yeah. Two nigga. Yeah, he didn't say that. Oh, he, he just let the he let the story build, man. Let it play out. Let spirit. it play out. He, he knew it was gonna happen. He knew the, the prophecy of uh, yeah. all, all have been saved was except the uh, son of perdition, yeah. that it may be fulfilled. He knew the prophecies of, uh, of, of Judas basically falling out. You know, the, the uh, hill being lifted up shall uh, be against them. You know, that was that was the prophecy that went into Judas Iscariot. But he let what? He let the storyline build. He didn't let it phase him. He still showed brotherly kindness. Still showed love toward Judas. Probably made him a plate. Watched, when he watched the disciples' feet, he watched Judas' feet too. He didn't say nigga, hey. Uh, hey. Yeah. What? Well, he was just doing what he was saying. He's practicing what he was preaching, what he said in Matthew 5. You know, what was that? Uh, uh, love thine enemy? That's speaking towards, the, uh, not Esau, but like, like the, the fellow brethren. The fellow brethren. Yeah, you, know? you want me to continue yeah, on Sarah? You want where it says arrow? Huh? You wanted the arrows? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, this is uh, Sirach 19 and 12. Because they're going to info, man. You know, you sometimes get informed about a brother on a certain situation he might be dealing with, he might be sincerely dealing with it too, but he just don't got the, the, the proper, uh, you know, footwork to, to deal with the situation. But it, is, it, is it your job to talk shit? Hmm. Hey, somebody get that in uh, Romans real fast. Him that is weak, receive ye, not to any evil oh, disputation. Because yep, yep, yep. some situations, man, it, it, ain't, it ain't to be spoke about, man. Mm -hmm. right? Just, just listen, listen to the brother's case, judge the brother's case. Hey, when you when you judge a case, what happens? You just put it in the file. You put it in the files, and you just keep going. You don't bring out the files later on, brother. You remember what I did for you? <laughs> you bring it out in public, nah, man. That's that nigga shit, man. That, that's in the that's in the pocketbook. It speaks about uh, give to a godly man. Yeah, when you just it's like lose a friend when you just quiet in the secrets. Oh yeah. Oh, that's what, that's right here in Sorak yeah. 19. Yeah, yeah. Sorak 19. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's, yeah. yeah. that's the words of wisdom, though. That's mm -hmm. that's a le that's a level of judgment in itself too. Keep going. Yeah. Con, uh, Sirach 19 and 12. As an arrow that sticketh in a man's thigh, so is a word within a fool's belly. Right, so mm. say for instance, one of us gets shot in the leg, what's, your, what's the first thing you want to do? You want to get it out. You want to yank it out yourself, man. I want to get this shit out. <laughs> but nah, man, you got you to gotta take, take it slow, man. So it basically speak about how a man, when a man hears a word and it's in his vessel, he can't wait to, to give that latest scoop. That you ain't heard it from me type of spirit, man. Nah, man, you don't deal like that. Some things you just hold in your reserves, man. That's that's being a man in itself too. Cause you know when you that's that high school, ninth grade, sophomore bitch nigga spirit, man. Yeah, oh, right. can I bring this out? Oh yeah, yeah. A yeah. verse above. <laughs> a verse above. It says a fool traveleth with the word as a woman oh, as and a labor woman. of a child. Cause you got a woman spirit. <laughs> See, you got a you got, bitch spirit. That's man. a bitch nigga spirit. Man. <laughs> Hey, Elder Ariella always say that, man. You don't never want to be a whole ass nigga. That's one thing you do not want to be. Yeah. And you don't, and when you hear elder, elder brothers like that say that, you don't always be like, yeah, y'all brothers don't be like, nah, man, I don't want to be yeah, no whole ass nigga. Mm -hmm. I mean, when he say that, I'm like, yeah, I don't want to be no whole <laughs> ass nigga. I'm going to do everything it takes to not be one, man. Yeah. 
So they, you gotta read these scriptures, that, and them, that be them whole ass nigga scriptures right there, man. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Said a uh, woman, a uh, man. Read that one more time. Crying. Yeah. Uh, Sirach, Sirach 19 and 11 A fool travaileth with the word So a fool travaileth with the word When a, when a man hears, hears the latest scoop Secrets Keep going As a, uh, as a fool travaileth with the word As a woman and labor of a child Yeah as a woman and labor with a child When That's you see a, a woman with a child well, she, she holding that thing She can't <laughs> wait to drop that baby All she talking about is dropping that baby man <laughs> It's holding her down She tired I'm doing uh Yeah I'm due She can't wait till she do She walking a certain way that's a, that's a nigga. A nigga start walking a certain way when he heard some info. Sweating bullets and shit. back and forth and shit. <laughs> like, yeah, I got, I got something to tell you, bro. Hey, bro, why you so excited, man? <laughs> chill, chill the hell out. But that's, a, that's, that, that's that woman spirit. The scripture, hey, the scripture is a spot on point, man. Because, yeah, yeah. hey, during that time, they had them type of niggas, yeah, man. Yeah, it was the same, the same niggas back today. Yeah, yeah. A lot of them. You know, rushing like his water broke. Like, man, what the hell wrong with you, bro? <laughs> Calm down, man. You can see it on his countenance. Yeah, you can see it on his countenance. Uh, Sight. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Looking like sweating and breathing. What's wrong with you, man? You got demons on him. Yeah, you got uh, this. This is something. This is something that you that you gotta uh, practice outside of the camp too. You know, this is something that even even on your job. Yeah. Hell you know, yes. even when you hear stuff on your job yeah. and stuff. You know, because niggas love to gossip on the job. Yes. You know? yes. But, but it's easy. It's it's kind of easy to forget because oh, you know, it ain't in the camp, right? It, you know, it's not it's not associated with with the camp or whatever. But it's the I mean, it's the same. It's, you gotta exercise that. You gotta in, apply in, it everywhere. You gotta apply, apply it everywhere. You know? Well, that's that's when the script. That's when you gotta apply the scripture. Um, it's in the book of Sirach too, where it says, um, "Strive not in a matter that concerneth thee not." Right, that's right. You know what I'm saying? Hey, sometimes men and women get into it with a Satan. You don't know a man. Between, you don't know the matter between a man and his mate. That's that be that's the business scriptures, man. That that be the mind your own business. What, uh, what did Denzel say when he was uh, when he was on the path? When he seen them quarrels amongst the uh, thieves and the woman, he turned his back. He was like, man, stay on the path, Love stay you. on the path. He had to keep keep uh, pondering that in his mind, man. So you got to be in that mentality, man. You just got to stay on the path, man. Don't go to the right, to the left. Mind your own business. You see a man getting into it with a woman, you hey, that's a female. <laughs> Next thing you know, he pulling a goddamn gun and blowing your ass back. Mm -hmm. Hey, them situations happen all the time. Yeah, I heard, yeah, yeah. I heard plenty of them yeah, situations. Simple yeah. ass niggas, nigga, nigga, yeah. nigga, jump out the car, middle of traffic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Stop that, hey, sir. Hey, when you go to KFC, even if like you're going to a member of your family, okay? Yeah, your yeah. sister, yeah. your mama. Yeah. Hey, man, hey, that's between him and her. Metal not in another man's affair. You got some situations where where the chick. You know, dude be beating her ass. Chick get mad at get mad at you, uh, a, a nigga jumping in. Oh yeah. yeah. You know they jump you. Yeah, they jump. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you, know, <laughs> you getting your ass whooped by the man? In Cause she like that shit. Women get like. That's why I say you really don't even know the matter between yeah, yeah, the man yeah, and the man. Yeah, Cause yeah, women yeah, like that yeah, shit, yeah, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You got some real uh, what they call it, like demented or, or yeah. jacked up relationship. You got you got different people with them weird fetishes, man. So you got to stay out of just your your best bet is staying out of people's business, minding your own business. business. This is our business. This is our mini world. Everything that's going on, motherfuckers get to fighting over there. We don't, we don't go over there. Whatever, man. Yeah. Yeah. Scriptures, yeah. 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 We ain't hear nothing, we ain't see nothing. Don't we just tell don't nobody. tell nothing. <laughs> yeah. and that's, that's how it was that's in our right. ass job, man. A lot, a lot of people, uh, well, mainly the women, yeah. they, they gossip. And my manager yeah, told me, uh, one of, matter of fact, one of them told me, yeah, man, you, you such in a good state because you'll, you'll get to the gossip. You know? yeah. Yeah. Right? Yeah. <laughs> that's why the scripture say, what's that, Sirach 9, it say, uh, sitting down in the company of many women. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's right. I, that, so I, pick up that, I got it. You know, that's that gossip and demon to jump on you. And it's yeah. like, yeah, yeah, I don't yeah, I did hear that. You know? That's heavy that you said that too. And it's not always even talking about physically being amongst them. It's talking about these damn shows too, man. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. You yeah. watch your fucking Wendy. <laughs> Wendy Williams and uh, uh, uh that shit. TMZ. I was just about to say, uh Ellen, Ellen DeGeneres. Yeah. Like, uh, you, you in the company of women. Yeah, yeah. Yep. Yep. Only thing is, yep. you you in the background. 
watching it from a TV. You, you're still in the crowd. Mm -hmm. you're, you're actually, when you deal with these ratings and you deal with individual that viewership, they're still in viewership. Mm -hmm. Even though yeah, you, yeah. you might have people that's physically in the crowd and you got people that's watching, they're all broadcasting. Yeah. When it's broadcasting, it's, it's doing what? Fishing people into the center. You're paying yeah. attention. You're sitting in the multitude of goddamn women, man. Yeah, because uh, they got, um, you know, they got these certain shows. All right, like, like you know, TMZ or whatever. Uh, but but now everyone is in the spirit uh, of of uh, uh, not you know not, uh, minding affairs of, of people, man. You know, like like uh, like we were just talking about how you might see a, uh, it might be a fight or whatever, and Jake will pull their phone out. You know, Jake will pull their phone out. You know, try to try to get a world star moment and shit like that. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, hey, you know, that that privacy aspect is is it's yeah, damn near gone, gone, man. Stalking, stalking these celebrities, like the brother said, you know, you got these different, uh, different gossip uh, shows, and um, you know, uh, uh, all they do is, is is just talk about damn celebrities and pe people in their personal lives. They talk about people's per personal business, man. Yeah, really on the regular shows, they got a lot of men that's on those shows, and they always be also mentioning they got people calling in. Think about this. What do you think about that? Yeah, yeah. And that shit is leaking to the truth. Yeah. Uh, amongst camps. Yeah, started, you start to become an Avenger, man, because Avengers ain't nothing more yeah. than, a, yeah. than a motherfucking black version of Wendy Williams, man. That's a black, yeah, black. I Wendy heard Williams. he got locked up. I got his criminal record. He got locked up back in 2006. Man, whatever, man. I don't, hey, somebody at UIC got locked up in 2005. I don't care. Yeah, who cares? Be honest. Yeah. You know, it's certain situations where these guys get exposed and things of that nature, but some shit is just like, whatever, yeah, man. Yeah, yeah. Some stuff is just become gossip. So that's why we got to going back to it. You got to you got to escape the world, man. That a lot of that shit come from the world. The latest gossip. You heard that about that brother, you know? That's why you got to be holy. Yeah, you got to be holy. The word holy goes into being separate, man. That's true. All right, this is uh, Proverbs twenty and nineteen. Right. He that goeth about as a talebearer. If I can say one thing too, so like it, because some situations where a, a man might go through certain situations. That man might have repented. He might have went to the Lord for that. Right. Yep. So in certain situations, how you gonna judge a situation that a man already dealt with and the Lord already judged that between him and that man? It right. wasn't. It wasn't a personal experience you went through with that individual. So you can't judge a situation like right. that. You know what I'm saying? Like if a brother might have might have went off, he might have slipped, and it wasn't a situation where you had to intervene and, and get in the middle of, and you already dealt with with him or, or his local church with it. That ain't none of your business, man. But what brothers doing another like say for the situation might arise with a brother in the church and it might be some leaked out info but the brother already got rebuked he got corrected you know that's it the, 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 the case yeah, already yeah, closed yeah, you yeah. just heard about the case months down the line double jeopardy and shit. Yeah, yeah yeah we don't move like that man. Yeah. men don't move yeah that's that's a cold case closed man gone, so gone. you keep going bro all right this is uh proverbs 20 and 19. He that goeth about as a talebearer reveals secrets. Yeah, the word talebearer means you bear tales, man. <laughs> uh, tale is basically stories. Yeah. That's where you have tattle tales. You know, you always got some type of tale, some type of gossip. And a lot of people play pe telephone, man. And it, it come from one person to the next. Next thing you know, it, it went to the 10th person. That, that story all fucking twisted up, man. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That causes the division amongst the yeah. And, and that's that comes yeah. assumption and presumption. You start to assume yeah, shit yeah, yeah, yeah. that you wasn't even you didn't even have visual wit you wasn't even a visual witness of the situation. How you gonna judge something if you wasn't a witness? That's like like you know in court you you'll have witnesses on the stand. If you ain't a witness in the in the case, say for something happened in Colorado and they what, what's that um situation? What's that called when they uh they grant you to the skin stand, mandatory grant? I forget the Latin word. But uh, they say for this you gra you granted to the stand and you you wasn't subpoena. even yeah they, they issue out a subpoena and you you um you you on the stand and you wasn't even really a witness in the situation and you speaking on the situation and the the judge come through the situation and he see that that you wasn't even there all everything that you said was just bullshit you just talking shit you just wasted yeah. your time man that's, what, that's why they call it an eyewitness Oh, I, yeah, you I actually would. gotta see. Yeah, I mean, you can't straight. go up there to my well, I heard. He said, she said, I, I heard. Yeah, yeah. You gonna be brought up on charges. Yeah, yeah. 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 Somebody, to, uh, somebody, somebody told somebody that told yeah. me. That's a third. Well, that's that's fifth person right there. Yeah, right. Right. You, got, <laughs> you got a first person, then uh, uh, you got you know third, uh, third person, which is uh, you heard it from someone. That's right. You know, 
Okay, but that's spiritual because okay. we're going into what? Judgment. Because yeah. these situations we got to judge. Sometimes it's a situation with brethren. If it's a situation that you, you ain't even got the marriage, you ain't even got the information on, hey, whatever that brother that, that, that's dealt with it, you know, he got to, they got to, some, some cases two brothers might have to come and they might, you might have to talk to both of them to figure out what's going on. I yeah, got, yeah. I got a precept for you. This is, um, uh, Sirach chapter 11, verse 8. It says, um, shoot, I'll start at 7. Blame not before thou hast examined the truth. Yep. Understand mm -hmm. first. Then rebuke. Yeah, so it says understand first. When you understand something, you actually took your time. Like I said earlier, you collected the proper information. You got the who, what, when, where, why. You, 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 you sought out the reasoning. You've seen the psychology behind it. Yep. You got the premise of the, 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 the um, case. Got the premise of the case. Mm -hmm. And then you drop the gavel. Yep. Mm -hmm. That takes time, man. Yeah. And what they, what oh, a lot Oh, no, you go ahead, bro. I was going to say, you said it takes time. You know, some, some cases, like, you don't drop the gavel. Right then and there, like, oh, two days we're gonna drop the gavel. Sometimes it might, might be weeks, mm -hmm. you know? It might it might take months. Mm -hmm. You know, cases gotta build, you gotta, you know, uh, gather evidence. Mm -hmm. You know, certain things gotta be uh, brought out. That's right. You know, so not every case you don't, you don't drop the gavel right out the bike. You got the camp, you spend it, they're all. It's like you gotta, you gotta talk, you can't, you say you gotta talk to a brother, you gotta review them again, you know? And Go ahead. even uh, in the case where the jury, the jury may deliberate for right. uh, Hey, up to a month or two, right? Yeah, right, right. On a certain case, you know, hey, right. the judgment don't come down mm -hmm. right in now because all the evidence got to be brought out, yeah. and, you know, so on and so forth. Right. Yeah, because a lot of the, a lot of these cases, shoot, they take years. Yep. Years, you know, yeah. uh, 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 decades. You got certain. You got. <laughs> yeah, God. That's <laughs> what I was thinking about. You got. Uh, you got certain. You got certain cases. Uh, you know, they go to Supreme Court or whatever. That, man, them cases take decades, man. Yeah, yeah. Case come out. Yeah. 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 Let me some. Let me some serious cases. Cause the thing is, too, with cases, some serious. Some cases are way more serious than others. When you read a judge. Uh, the book of John, you have certain sins that's um, not worthy of death. Right. You know, right. but you got certain uh, sins when you read the scriptures, some men will actually get whipped. Thank you, too, y'all. Young men, help Yeah, you have some, some men that will actually get whipped. You know, you have some men that actually, you know, would have to just deal with certain uh, points of personal points of matter. Some of them, you would just get stoned to death, get hung. So different cases are, are dealt with different ways, man. And that's why, like I said earlier, it's all about the discernment. No one sometimes takes extend mercy to the individual. Like, see that brother, he just, that was a young mistake. You gotta sin, you gotta, uh, you gotta sin of ignorance. Which a, a lot of times when you when you sin ignorantly, you, you give a, a, a offering, man. You give an offering unto the Lord. Some, some, you have atonement, day of atonement, where you atone for your sin. Some sins you just go off, yeah, hey, that's worth your death, man. Some shit, you just kick a, kick a man out of Israel, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You no? Know? Like, oh, Exodus, the, the, the law of the witch. Mm. Thou shalt not suffer a witch to live. Oh, yeah. You don't give the witch time to atone. Yeah. You kill that motherfucker. Yeah. Or a chantress, yeah. somebody that goes to the fire. You want to say one more? Yeah, if somebody, hey. uh, but then your, your neighbor yeah. tell you to go worship another god. Yeah. You right. stone the devil. Yeah, and, and that's why you got to have righteous snitches in them camps, in these camps too, man. Because some things you conceal the matter, but some things you have to speak out. Like, yeah, yeah, brother, you did what? You know, yeah, I, yeah. I got to tell, tell the brothers about yeah, yeah, yeah. I can say too, uh, the spirit is bad. We was just talking about the song to go on down there. You know, we, we, not, get, we, we not getting involved. Hey, she fell out. Hey, I better get up. Yeah, yeah. That was good <laughs> the most I can going to bring these kids hey, this situation to the judge. Shabbat. We, we yeah. uh, should pot them still. What was that, uh, Judges? You know, this we live in, hey, brothers going to the books, we live in, we live in the book of Judges, man. That's right. We're like many judges. We, we, we coming up on the the the, end of, uh, the spirit and the inspiration of these different judges in the scriptures, such as Solomon. We just read the, the, the discernment of Solomon, because that, that was a demon. She didn't come overtly like, hey, hey y'all think it's cool. She came for just like we were talking about when we were going through the Book of Kings. Yeah, yeah. You know, like back then they had that spirit to where they really didn't show their poker face. Or they, they didn't show their hand like that yeah, as they do today. But she kind of came in that, that sly manner. Yeah. Demons just don't come up just abruptly all the time. Right. Where it's like, that's a demon. It'd be like, you know what I'm saying? You got to, like, people. You know what I'm Mount saying? We could have made battles worse. Because we're not experts in moving yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah so what if we actually oh yeah, yeah no. oh she asked about something medically 
Yeah. See that? See that's that's the spirit. That's their job. That's not. That's, that ain't our business, man. Mm -hmm. That ain't our occupation. Man. Somebody get that one that the pizza. Come back with strong and help. Nah, man. man. man Cause you can get sued. To be honest, you can get sued. With you can get sued for that. You can't. Yeah, I ain't. Yeah. Like issue, like doing CPR on somebody that, that's down and out. Yeah. You can't do that. You can get sued trained. for that shit. Yeah, if you're not unless trained, you like certified. Right. Unless you're like certified. Yeah, yeah. certified. Yeah. Yeah. I'm sure. So this is our certification. This is our job that we we involve ourselves into. And we, you know, no, still not like I said, the prime example we just dealt with with a uh, dirty ass there. mouth. You got that uh, scripture I told you? Yeah, with nineteen. Yeah, with that sixteen. Yeah. All right, this is Leviticus 19 and uh, 16. Thou shalt not go up and down as a talebearer yeah. among thy people. Yeah, so that's a that's a sin, man. Don't go up and down as a talebearer among your people, telling him some about him. Now you telling him about him. And now you got telling him about him. Now now what happens? You you stay in the background and you let the cats fight, so to speak. That's yeah. bitch nigga shit, man. Yeah, yeah. damn tattletale, man. Hey, what what does Titus say? Don't give heed to. Uh, I'm applying it. But don't give heed to Jewish fables. Yeah. You got another Israelite who is a Jew coming yeah. to tell you a little fable. Like, hey, bro, shit. I don't want nothing to do with yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tell you me know what I'm saying? Mythological stories and shit, man. <laughs> Murmuring and shit. Murmuring. Because you got, you got the mur. Hey, we had yeah. We had an individual, man. He run his, run his damn mouth about everything, yeah, man. man. We had a heavy murmur deal. Yeah. Like you said, it's, it's a difference. You have a righteous way of doing it, and you got a wicked way of doing it. Yeah. Like, for man, is always finishing the camp. He trying to, you know, you see a situation just getting worse and worse. Yeah. Then with financial reasons and not handling responsibility, that's a righteous way to do it. Yeah. If you all in this business about where, where about you know what you do with money all the time, right, 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 it's totally yeah. off. Yeah. Yeah. Tell, and then you tell the next brother, hey, bro, that man ain't never got no. You know he ain't never got no money, right? Yeah, like what? Like yeah, yeah so. like why are you even telling me that? Can you can you help him out? Right. Did you did you talk to him about it? Nah, I ain't. And then you have an individual. I ain't gotta talk to him about. It. So why the fuck you talking to me about it? <laughs> <laughs> You talk to him about that. You you get on him, cause just like you said, it's the right way. Hey, bro, you know I just see that you be kind of messed up a lot. Maybe maybe you should uh you know fill out applications and you go to this job, go to that job. Whoop, whoop, you know get the ball on the road with your situation you're dealing with. Maybe I can help you out to expound on how you could get financially more more financially stable, financially balanced balanced with money management. Man That's might right. might have a, a money management demon on him, man. But it's yeah. the way you rebuke that money management demon off of him, man. He might be, he might be a, uh, have a shoe and coat spirit on him. You might have to tell him, hey, bro, scale back on the clothes, man. You got enough of that shit, man. Use your money to have I'm just using this as an example amongst, you know, well, yeah, I mean, uh, the, an example of judgment. Yeah, the, 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 the purpose of, uh, of, of it is to reach a solution, okay, it's for, for the brother to grow. Because a lot of, I mean, sometimes you do have uh, certain men's you have you have some men that, that their name gets brought up, you know, or that you know they be on the hot seat. That's true. You know, you got certain men they, they name be on the hot seat, but really, it's already something that's already been expressed to, to the man, you know, and then or or a lot of times you know it, it's to it's to reach a, a solution, yeah. you know, to reach to reach a, a conclusion to the matter. Yeah. You know, that's counsel, man. Right. Huh. Yeah. Because when you have counsel, like when you watch these mob movies. And these movies with these top guys, they assemble and they talk about what they're dealing with for the day. Who doing who doing what right, who doing what wrong, and how we gonna fix that. Some man, some man you might have to talk to him, some man you have to whack. Some man you you, you know, hey, really with a mob, you don't just leave, man. It's that you get hit oh, up, yeah. man. You got too much uh, whack. You got too much information, man. You got too much intel, man. Yeah, you get too much. Yeah. So that's, that's the thing about it, cause like like I said, some some when you watch some of these mall movies, some things you just gotta slap a man in the back of the head, like man, what is you doing, man? Get, get your head on right. These boys is watching us out here, man. Like when you watch uh, um, Goodfellas, individuals, uh, you had the dude coming in with the fur jacket. He bought his his, his uh, woman the, the new lack. That that lack was uh, you know clean as hell. But it's like it, 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 being simple as a, it, it's just a gift. Man, what the hell you doing? Take that shit back, man. He told him don't, 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 don't buy anything. Don't buy anything. I said, don't buy anything. The cops was on their ass. Yeah. You don't want to uh, draw, draw, draw attention. You know? Be low profile. Yeah. And this, this, we're going into this because it's important too. Like Frank Lucas. 
Yep. When you watch that movie, yeah, yep, same thing. That's how that's how the crackdown happened. He had the fur jacket. He went to the fight. That's been yeah, being yeah, too yeah. flashy, man. That's the boy. See, okay, you wearing a goddamn five hundred thousand dollar mink mink uh, uh, sweater. Where the hell you get five hundred thousand to, to, to spend right. on that shit? First off, and if you spending five hundred thousand, I'm just giving an example. They yeah, probably, yeah. They, they probably don't be that much. I don't know. I don't know. Twenty five thousand dollar mink mink. Uh, right. Yeah, that five hundred thousand is out there. A twenty-five thousand uh, dollar mink jacket. I'm just giving an example. Right. If you spend twenty-five thousand dollars, that some people don't make twenty-five thousand a year. Okay. You spending twenty-five thousand. That means how much is his car worth? That means how much is, is, is his house? Yeah. All right. How much is he spending on women? Mm -hmm. Then you in the front lines. So some stuff you just got to be under the radar, man. You gotta you gotta move a certain way, man. And some things where men men just be out there. Men men move too boldly sometimes. Right. You got hey bro, scale back, man. Yeah. Lower your profile, man. You out here in these streets too much. Yeah. yeah. You out here in these clubs, you you, you you letting any and every woman in your crib. Some of these chicks might be agents, man. Yeah. yeah. You just moving, you moving like this is this is La La Land, man. This is the this goddamn Disneyland. Yeah. No, you got yeah. all kind of carnival cakes and you just having a, a ton of fun in this in this thing, man. Nah, man, move move with a level of disc uh, discretion. That's the word. Okay. You gotta move with, move with that discretion. You can read that off, and then you can bring that out. Leviticus 19 and 16. Thou shalt not go up and down as a tailbearer. Yeah, because no, no, no. it said going up and down, meaning you doing what? You going street to street. Now, now that was the ancient way of gossiping. Now what you got? You got the phone, man. I'm hitting, hitting, yeah, text messages and things early, like that. Nature. Early America, you had extra, extra. Yeah, read out. <laughs> you know, the, you know? new, the news scoop. Because the news is northeast, southwest. That, that's how you, you you give out information from north to the to the east, to the west, to the south. And you have individuals that gossip that way, man. They make it their business to see gossip. So run their mouth. And certain, like I said, certain things just you don't even bring out. Man. Keep going. I continue on. It says, Neither shalt thou stand against the blood of thy neighbor. Mm -hmm. I am the Lord. Neither shalt thou stand mm -hmm. against the blood of thy neighbor. Come. Okay. Keep going. Uh, you got something? I got something. Okay. It's uh, Proverbs 11 and 12. A talebearer reveals secrets. That's a spirit. Yeah, it says a talebearer mm -hmm. reveals yeah, secrets. Yeah, that out. Mm -hmm. We went into that earlier about secrets. When you're dealing with secrets from an individual, you got to keep that stuff underground, man. That's the thing about being a man. Some stuff you just got to you just got to hold hold in reserve, man. Don't talk too much. Hey, they show you that too. They, they speak about that with, with kings, man. A lot of times kings don't speak a lot, man. You know they speak they speak matters that they need to be judged to issue after that you know they they, they back in it handling business man mm -hmm. if it's a situation oh like like godfather you'll watch these in the, these matters counsel upon counsel counsel yeah. upon counsel they're dealing with this they're dealing with individuals just trying to rob them in their city you know he he just he get a word he got the faithful men you know they they issue out what they got to do they got they, they make the, the right trips and and clean up what got to get cleaned up after it's cleaned up they move forward man don't, you can't be getting hung up on, on silly shit, man. Cause yeah. we got a bigger picture. Yeah. Well, cause, cause a guy in uh, one, one of the old uh, heads in the, uh, in the mafia, uh, the Godfather, he, he wanted to whack one of the uh, good businessmen that was dealing with uh, the Godfather's son. And I, I forgot the dude, the main dude who played uh, uh, the head of the whole operation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. He's like, nah, 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 nah. He's good. Yeah, yeah. He's good. 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 Don't don't mess with the man that's fueling putting the gas in the tank because he's yeah. making the car fucking run, man. Right, yeah. Don't mess with the man that's pushing the engine. The man that's that's, that's tuning this thing up. They got the tires rolling, the rims, everything is running, and you 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 coming against the momentum, man. You gotta you, your job is to do what help the car move, man. Even if you gotta be on the back helping that pushing that motherfucker, man. Yeah. It's going that much more forward. That's the that's the job of a man of the Lord. Each and every one of us, we gotta push forward, man. Don't go against the grain. Cause what you do is you you hold up progress and you gonna get ran over, man. You don't be no damn backseat driver, man. Oh yeah. You know, <laughs> you got you got the people that be in the backseat. Hey, turn left, turn you right, know, slow no, down. You know. Yeah. You got, yeah. Since we talking about my movies, an right. example of uh, and the good father when Sonny was always trying to come to the rescue of his sister Connie, and he you know the uh, her husband would always be beating on her, doing 
his son. She be she be running the crime to him. He was always getting their business. And then next thing you know, he got what? Because you, you're dealing with situations that ain't got nothing to do with you. That's, right. that's why the scripture says that. Read that over. Proverbs 11 and 13. A talebearer revealeth secrets. Meaning you bringing out all the goodies, man. Yeah. Just like you said, you're dealing with situations that ain't got nothing to do with you. Because a lot of times these individuals that we tell bear, they got somebody um, like it, as an extension that's always bringing news to them, man. If you got an individual that's always bringing news to you that ain't got nothing to do with nothing. Now in some situations that have to, that's important that gotta be resolved. That's the thing about it though. It's certain situations that have to come to you and you gotta deal with it. But if it ain't got nothing to do with nothing and it's just bullshit, put the block on that man. You know? <laughs> Wait, rebuke him. Yeah. Bro, why are you talking to me about this shit, man? This shit ain't, this, did you, like I said, did you talk to that individual? Somebody get Matthew 18. Cause we dealt with situations, hey, brothers in, in all churches, you know, dealt with these situations where sometimes you gotta talk to a man, you gotta sort things out. He might not have his head on right. Might be going, you know, might be having a bad day, a bad week. Babylon might be beating the living hell out on, and you gotta just, you, you gotta get him to calibrate his, 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 uh, you know, fighting style right, man. Calibrate his steps. Yeah, you gotta calibrate his steps right, cause his calibration is off. Just like with, with cars, man. Sometimes them, uh, what, what's it called? You gotta line them wheels, you man. Line the wheels, yeah. You, you riding? That thing riding, but that thing riding wobbly, man. Yeah, so yeah. what you gotta do? Hey, bro, stop. Hey, they show you that with NASCAR. They be, they be going, they gotta yeah, stop, they yeah, gotta yeah. tune that shit up yeah, real fast. Yeah, yeah. It's essential yeah. though. Mm -hmm. you, you, might not, you might not see it, but somebody on the outside observing is seeing that you ain't riding right, man. So they stop. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Get back on the road, man. <laughs> you got that? Matter of fact, you got, read the rest of that? Start. It says, uh, but he that is of a faithful spirit concealeth the matter. Yeah, see, he that's of a faithful spirit concealeth, this, concealeth what? The matter. Concealeth the matter, because there's going to be a lot of matters that come in Israel, but you got to sometimes conceal situations and be faithful. You got faith in that man, and that man going to get through it. You're going to coach him. You're going to guide him. You're going to be a spiritual guardian unto that man. You're going you're gonna, to you're gonna, you're gonna help him fight, man. All right, bro, yeah, you fighting. I see that you, you know, you, you got this, you got certain spirits on you. Hey, some brother, hey, spirits gonna jump on you, man. Yeah. It's all about how you react to those spirits, though. Spirits <laughs> gonna jump on each and every one of us, one way or another. Some spirits is gonna be to, to get you out of there. Some spirits is gonna be have, have to get rebuked off of you. Hey, somebody get that in uh, Timothy. How the words is uh, spirit of inspiration for correction, reproof, rebukes. Yeah, if you get that. Yeah, cause cause different spirits gotta get get off men different type of ways, and like I said, when a man fully fully consumed by Satan, he gotta be an outcast. You gotta cast him out, man. Jazzy Jeff. But if you, if you if you go, hey, somebody get that in Jude with the fires, yep. saving out the fire. Oh yeah. Some yep. situations you gotta you gotta, you gotta sometimes get close to the heat to, to pull him out, man. Yeah. That shit might burn you. Damn, yeah, but it was worth it though. Cause you cause you going you going while pulling out the fire. You're gonna plead the case, his cause. I think that's what it says, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, cause some, some individuals will do that too. They might get in the hot seat for your sake just to get you out of the situation. You know? Hey, uh, that's what Yahweh Shai is doing? That's what Yahweh Shai is doing. That's exactly what That's he's what he's doing with the like 144. Then we would've went off, he, he sacrificed. Mm -hmm. he, he's, pulling, he's pulling us out the fire and be like, hey, Yahweh, they good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? And like we talk about mob stories, Someone come, hey, hey, pop, he good. Yeah. Oh, you say he good? All right, then he good. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's funny you said that too. Because sometimes you watch these certain uh, mob movies, and um, they don't want it to get to the what they call them, the what the um, the fathers or the uh, the duns. The duns. Yeah. You don't want it to get to the duns because <laughs> if it go up top, it's man. coming down from from the hitman. One of them, yeah, one of them individuals, they come in to clean up, clean up shop. One of them, them, them high pay. And hey, they, they do it swift too. You might open your car and shit might blow up. Yeah, they, they gonna they yeah. frag your joint. Yeah. They might get a woman to knock you off. Hey, yeah, woman yeah. Knock you. That, that, they they money stretch long, man. So the point yeah. is, you know. They, they be like, sometimes they'll cover for you. They'll mm -hmm. cover your ass for a little bit. Like, nah, nah, he good. I just yeah. gotta deal with him. He a little, he a little hot over here, but yeah. I'ma cool him down. I got the cooling for him, you know what I'm saying? I'ma make sure uh -huh. that he, I'ma make sure he, he get back straight. He kinda, he a little loose. I'ma tighten him up, but yeah. he, he good. But some situations, it's like, damn. I ain't got no choice. I gotta yeah. bring this thing up top, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Spirit do it like that sometimes, yeah. you know? Then it, it come down, it go up top, and it come back down with a, with a harsh, uh, harsh hammer, man. But sometimes men men will do that to themselves. That's the thing about it. Going back, going, going, going back to that uh, casino, 
You watched that with Joe Pesci. Joe Pesci was running up a muck in Vegas, man. And you had a Sam Ross thing that kept trying to coach him and tell him, man, get your, get your head on a, on a swivel, man. You can't be moving out here like this is, this is free world. You see the money, you see the, the bitches, you see the, the lavish life. That don't mean that you, you move any type of way. You, you try to stick everybody up because you got a level of power, man. Right, right. Because that power, that power would get to your head, and that's what happened. The power got to his head, and what happened? He got whacked in the desert, man. Yeah, he, he was trying to be boss over the one who had you had. Yeah, Sam Ross thing. Yeah, yeah. Don't bite the hand and feed you, man. Bite the hand and feed you. And we going into all this, not to, not to have a, a movie dialogue, <laughs> but it's, these are examples, yeah. man. These are a lot of examples on counsel, wisdom, judgment, not being too proud, yeah. listening. Hasty. Don't be hasty with your, could you say being hasty or rash with your, your mouth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Listening, yeah. staying down, you know. Giving sometimes giving a good having good feedback. Sometimes if you want a receptive end, knowing how to get that man out of that situation. You want that in June? Uh -huh. You want that in June? Yeah, you get that. Come. Okay. This is a. Uh, this is Jude chapter one verse twenty three, and the others save with fear, pulling them out of the Go fire. Okay, come. Uh, verse twenty two. Uh, I'll start verse 20, that verse 20. But ye behold, building up yourselves on your most highly, a holy faith, yeah. praying to the Holy Spirit, uh, praying in the Holy Spirit, oh. uh, keep yourselves in the love of Yahweh. So, we, so our job is to keep ourselves in the love of Yahweh. What's the love? These, these words. The Lord said, if you love me, feed my sheep. The love is, is, is basically feeding each other with the, the, the words of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shah. That's the greatest love that man can give to the next man is the words of the Lord, man. Mm -hmm. You know, and laying down your life for that man. Because really, this is, a, this is really a form of us laying down our lives for one another too. Pushing his word, presenting our bodies as a living sacrifice. But in this, in this, in this walk of love, some men deviate from that love. You know, they love start to wane. But you gotta do certain things to get them out of there. You know? sure. Right. Um, uh, oh, prime example. Brother, you get that with Paul and Peter, how he withstood Peter. Paul had to get on Peter, which was the head. Peter was Pete, Peter wasn't moving right, man. Even though he was the head, his his movements was a little little funny, man. They were shaking. So what he had to do, he had to he had to give him that pep talk, man. And, and he wrote it in the, in the scribe, and inscribed and through the scribe, he inscribed it in the writings for an example. You know, to to, to move move right, man. It, this this is a, a righteous thing. Because the thing is, what gave Paul also that jurisdiction to get on Peter. It's because he was over the Gentiles. Peter was mainly holding it down in Jerusalem. He Gal was over, Galatians 2? Yeah, he was over the uh, the, the house of uh, basically Israel. So kind, so Paul, so Peter was kind of outstepping his jurisdiction going into Paul territory. He was supposed to hold it down. Paul was very passionate about doing the work of the Gentiles. That's why he was going to Corinth and Galatia. Mm -hmm. and, and, you want me to get Ephesus. that? Yeah, yeah, get that. Come on. And Peter, Peter, James, and John, which scriptures speak about who seem to be pillars, that was the structure that was holding it down in Israel. They wasn't doing all the missionaries. They, was, they was holding it down at home. This is uh, Galatians chapter 2. I'm going to jump to the point. Uh, Galatians 2 and 8. For he that wrought effectually in Peter uh -huh. to the apostleship of the circumcision. Yeah, so his job was to, to be over the circumcision. The circumcision is the Jews. They actually knew that they were Jews. Mm -hmm. They knew they was Israelites. They kept the, the, the 613, the, the Torah, you know. Mm -hmm. They were natural. They were natural by nationality, Israelites. Keep going. Uh, the same was mighty in me toward the Gentiles. So he said the same was mighty towards me. The word mighty in the Hebrew is a tazawon towards towards me towards the Gentiles. So he had a a, a level of, of veracity, so to speak, or a fierceness, aggression when it came to his ministry. Mm -hmm. And he wouldn't let no man overstep that bounds. Them bounds, even Peter, man. That's why, he, like I said, Peter was kind of. We're slipping on, hey, but it's, it comes, hey, that comes with the territory. territory yeah. Men slip, man. You, hey, you, you watch these top uh, basketball players, these top football players, these top athletes, mm -hmm. so called, you know, the modern day Olympians, they even fuck up. Yeah. Might be a buzz, buzz beater, and he might have just threw up some bullshit. Yeah. He might have been practicing all, all for, right. for decades to, to shoot, shoot them shots, but hey, guess what? Go back to the locker, he get cussed out, he, he listen. And can he come back harder? That's what it's about. Can I get a... That. Go ahead, bro. bro look at y'all. But they showed that in first recently, bro. Uh, Chris Paul was getting on James Harden. Yep. Little, in, the, in the huddle? Basically cussing on the huddle and they got it together and, you know, they moved yeah, on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't trade teams, man, because yeah. a man, uh, he <coughs> might do something. Katie. Things, <coughs> but they say, don't jump ship. Oh, yeah. Kobe Bryant, too, with that, uh, uh, it's, 
president about the uh, affairs that the woman. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yep. But then he, he got the MVP. Yep. Yeah. 2016? Yeah, scandals might come. Yeah, yeah, scandals yeah, yeah. might come and shit like that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But you gotta handle your business, man. Brothers, yeah. That's why you got brothers to fight for you, and you gotta be faithful, man. Like I said earlier, don't jump ship. Everybody paddling, and then you might see, you know, uh, you might look at a brother, and he might not be doing doing it how you want to do it. Now you want to jump it. I'm yeah, jumping this jump. boat, man. Yeah. Y'all niggas, yeah. y'all ain't paddling hard enough. Nah, yeah. man. Talk, like I said, this thing is about consulting, man. Right. You might have certain spiritual weapons or, or spiritual trinkets that you can actually give to the next man yep. so that he can move quicker. Everybody doesn't have the same gift. It's a it's a administration of gifts. But what it said, the, the self same spirit. You got some more on um uh, Jude. Yeah. Con, um, verse uh, twenty one. Keep yourself. Jude chapter 1 verse 21 Keep yourself in the love of Yahweh Looking for the mercy of our Lord Yahweh Shai Mashiach unto eternal life Yeah cause at the end of the day we all fighting for mercy man. We, we all fuck up We fuck up bad yeah. We, we all really supposed to have been put to death the Scripture right. speak about yeah. our righteousness is a filthy rags, rags. No, I, think I, was, I forgot what brother I was talking to But I was like really we ain't keeping none of the laws We might the, Some of the laws we keeping Like you know growing our beard out Dietary law we threw Mm-hmm. That ain't chicken. That ain't chicken. We eat all kind of. Um, yeah. And if it is chicken, it's pork. Well, uh, pork. Yeah. Mixed with chemicals. Mixed with, mixed with chemicals and things of that nature. Yeah. Shit. We don't commit right. adultery. The, the more women you deal with, the more uh, adultery you, you actually rack up. Yeah. But that's why we need mercy. That's right. at the end of the day. So if you see a man going off, he might slip overtly. We all slip covertly, so to speak, yeah. under underground, so to speak. Some men slip more visually, though. It might be seen by the congregation. But you just gotta, you gotta get that brother right, man. You know, yeah. talk to him, gay yeah, bro. You, know, you slip, man. He gonna let you know straight up. And and you as a brother that slip, don't. I ain't slip. What you watching me for? Watch your yeah. damn son. The scripture says.